Alex made the point that President Biden doesn't talk about the wars very often. Should he? Absolutely. Not just uh, in Israel, Ukraine. We have superpower. He is the commander in chief. Absolutely. He should speak out more. And also, we should cover what he's saying because often when he speaks, nobody listens. Okay. Joe Conch is a Fox News contributor. Joe joins me now. When he speaks, he being the president, nobody listens. That's mm. quite a statement from the former DNC chair, Joe. Yeah, Todd. Uh, people don't listen to this president perhaps because he's too scripted or he's too packaged or he's too protected and therefore he lacks authenticity. And when he does speak extemporaneously, it's sometimes or oftentimes awkward or confusing or patently dishonest. And his comms team needs to clean up on aisles five and 17 and 26. So, yeah, the president should be speaking more in terms of not doing just interviews with Jason Bateman on his podcast, for example, or with friendly, friendly outlets that don't ask him any challenging questions and maybe should consider sitting down and doing Doing a real interview live, by the way, because if you notice, every time he does an interview, uh, it's taped and packaged, to use that word again. Uh, sit down with somebody and actually take some hard questions. Or, oh, here's a thought, Todd. Maybe do a press conference for 45 minutes to an hour. We haven't seen anything like that this year or many months going into 2023. So if, if his handlers want to hide him for this long, okay, I guess. But the American people want to hear from Joe Biden, the president, the man and actually hear answers that come from his head and not from a teleprompter. But that's not going to happen. And probably, Todd, I don't think it's going to happen as far as a solo press conference, even one time before Election Day, which is stunning considering that this is an election year. Yeah, and no disrespect to Jason Bateman, but Marty Bird is not a journalist. We need to hear from journalists. But to the overall point that the media doesn't cover what he says and does, is that even correct? And the other part, what about Trump? Because it seems like when Trump makes himself available, has speeches, comments, the media cuts yeah. him off and says, oh, we can't let him go because of democracy or some stupid reason for censoring him. <laughs> Yeah, Todd. I, I mean, outright, forget cut him off. We see one cable news network not carry his remarks in any capacity and then preempt him by saying, we know he's probably going to lie, therefore we cannot allow liars on our network before, you know, introducing Adam Schiff as their ne next special <laughs> guest, right? And, 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 and same thing with CNN. Uh, it, it, when they used to, I, I, I remember 2015, 2016, you would literally see on CNN or MS. SNBC awaiting Donald Trump's speech or remarks, and they're showing an empty podium, right? And so they couldn't get enough of him when the ratings were great and, and they didn't think he was going to win. And now, obviously, uh, we don't hear from him at all. But yeah, to, to Donna Brazil's point, she's saying that nobody's listening to the president uh, or he, you know, we don't cover him enough. Well, that's because the pivot always goes back to Donald Trump and talking about everything negative about him as far as any legal cases that are right, going on, right. instead of actually analyzing the incumbent president on inflation, crime, the border, and foreign policy. Yeah, she's kind of right in, in terms of no, she's not right in terms of not covering him enough. Uh, he yeah, doesn't there, get enough coverage. There, there and certainly isn't fact check. That's there, certainly for sure. There time. was a lot in her comment. Her comment was all over the place. But she did mention the economy. Let's talk about that. Former Obama advisor David yeah. Axelrod has some advice for Joe Biden. Listen. I wouldn't go out there and extol the miracle of the Biden economy. Um, it just drives me crazy when he does that. I think he needs to put himself on the side of working people in their economic fight here. Boy, you wonder, Joe, if Axel Rock continues with statements like that, which he's been making for the last couple of months now, um, does the Democrat-controlled yeah. media stop having him on? Oh, that's very interesting. Well, he's paid by CNN, so uh, certainly uh, he'll, he'll be on there, but maybe not as often uh, as one would think. Uh, but when you see David Axelrod, just know that that's really Barack Obama talking. That That is a message to Joe Biden that, look, you got to do the Bill Clinton, right? I feel your pain because rent and gas prices and prices in general are too high. And the fact that the fact is that people cannot afford many things right now is something that can't be unspun by Team Biden or his friends 
trends in the media. The bottom line is that food prices, for example, are 37 percent since 2019. And that's something that people buy every day. And they know that something has to change. And that's the message that Axelrod yeah. and Obama, by yeah. extension, is trying to send to this president. Obama speaks through the TV, through Axelrod to Joe. It's odd. We get to hear our Joe directly. Joe Concha, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.